Have you ever wondered what it would be like if, after completing their journey, the hero ended up having the very people that they swore to protect turn on them? Well, look no further because I'm quitting heroing is just that. The story follows Leo, a man who single-handedly defeated the Demon Queen's army only to be met with fear from his fellow humans. Being sent in exile, he finds that there's only one place in the world that would probably accept him for who he is, the Demon Queen's army. That's how all this begins, and it's honestly a pretty refreshing take on the hero's journey. Overall, this anime might not be as lighthearted as you'd expect it to be. It starts off with a lot of jokes, and it doesn't seem like it'd get into anything too serious. But the more you watch, the more you see how much that feels to be a facade. If you're not someone who can handle serious subjects, this might not be something you could find yourself enjoying. While this is really good, I ended up finding that this anime was horribly depressing. Between all the comedy and comfiness that Leo has to offer to the story, the things that are shown to us borders on tragedy. It doesn't quite feel as heavy because of how Leo tends to lighten up the story, but it just keeps piling on to you and it makes it hard to ignore. The series gets progressively sadder while managing to keep its balance so as to not lose the mood of its theme. It's not a bad thing. In fact, the way it's written is genius for the pacing of the series. The writing in this anime is of a slower pace than what you'd think you'd be getting, but the episodes felt like they were over by the time you blinked. I got so deeply invested into the story that I didn't realize how many hours had passed by the time I stopped watching. Without really spoiling anything, I'm Quitting Heroing explores the ending of a hero's journey and the start of something new. It takes a more nuanced approach to things as, instead of the hero living in peace after all is said and done, he lives more in despair from the life he's lived. It gets quite tough to watch the anime in some points because of this, but it only enhances the experience that makes this come together to become something amazing. Despite the comedy that's ever present in the series, this is a story that shows a possible outcome for a hero who loses their purpose after they win. What happens might not be something that some people would be into, but I feel that this is an anime that a lot of people should watch. This story is nothing short of a masterpiece, and I feel as many eyes as possible should see it. It'd be nice if we got some more series like this where they explore other possible directions the end of a hero's journey could go, as this particular subject is something that's often ignored by comparison. The synergy that the main cast has together is even something that I find to be really well done. Each of their personalities are so wildly different, and some feel like they should clash with one another in the wrong kind of way, but they end up feeling so natural. Leo holds the group together with his relatively confrontational ways that manage to not feel forced no matter the circumstances that he's faced with. Be it for comedic purposes or for when the more serious topics hit later in the story, he manages to keep your eyes focused on him. You'd think that this would be a hindrance for taking some of the spotlight away from other characters, but the way everything is framed, it ends up better enhancing the experience because you get to see the characters here in a way that you probably didn't expect. Even the time he spends with the Demon Queen Echidna ends up making the later parts in the story so much more enjoyable because of how everything is handled through Leo. So much so that I think that the entire chain of interactions involving her is probably the deciding factor as to why I regard this series so highly. And with that, I'll stop right here. I don't want to spoil anything more than I already have, as I think that this is the strongest contender for anime of the year. I don't want you to have anything ruined by talking for too long. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the series after you've watched it, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.